To boost the nation's ever low birth rate, President Yoon is calling for all of Korean society to back a nationwide child care initiative that kicks off in schools next month. Woo Soo-young has the details. It's said that it takes a village to raise a child, but in South Korea, there will be a centralized government system to reduce the burden of child care and education. That's according to President Yoon suk yeol on Tuesday, as announced at a meeting of leaders of the nation's 17 local governments and their respective educational authorities. Ahead of the new school year, which begins in March, the president addressed the pilot launch of his administration's child care program for elementary schools nationwide. Meaning continual care, the so-called Nubon program will offer parents and guardians two hours of free extracurricular sessions for their children before and after school during hours that overlap with their commute and work. This comes as South Korea seeks to resolve its chronic demographic crisis, the lowest birth rate in the world, averaging 0.78 births per woman, with more and more adults feeling unable to afford or have the time to raise children in a fiercely competitive society. The program will kick off at 2,700 schools for first graders in the first half of this year, offering extracurricular classes based on popular requests such as culture, sports, arts, digital technology and self-development. From the second semester, the program will expand to 6,000 schools and cover second grade students from next year, working up to six graders by 2026. Yun emphasized that the burden of childcare and education should shift away from parents to the public sector, announcing that the central government will establish a headquarters for the Nubon program as an all-out support system. According to a senior presidential aide, current Deputy Prime Minister and Education Minister Lee Joo-ho, known for his pioneering policies and academic work on education and innovation, is expected to lead the pan-government body. The program will launch a year earlier than planned, with 700 more schools taking part in the first semester due to high demand. He has pledged administrative support as well as a feedback system to heed teachers' voices. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.